Hi, it's Clayton from Australian Direct and today I'd like to talk to you about our favourite 12 volt connector, the Anderson plug or the Anderson style plug. Now, Anderson plugs are fantastic. They're the best connector in the world. I mean, cigarette lighter plugs, we all know, they, they wobble out, they carry hardly any power. The Anderson plug came along, they can carry 50 amps, they're absolutely solid, their connection is perfect. So I'm gonna show you the range that we have because we've got some special ones. And then I'm gonna show you how to uh, crimp the terminals on. A lot of people don't understand how to do that properly. And then if you need to, how to take the terminals out of an Anderson plug, which nobody seems to know how to do. So the first thing on our website, we've got the standard old gray Anderson plugs. Now this is the industry standard. Um, most Anderson plugs on the market are the gray colored uh, type okay and gray fits into gray now one thing i'll say with anderson plugs and you'll probably see later there is no male and female they just plug together okay so there's no male or female plug in an anderson plug now we've had these with these anderson style plugs um, a black color made which will fit into the gray okay so it's important to know that on our website the black and the gray anderson plugs are completely interchangeable okay and we use them on our solar controllers just because we want to keep things uniform. What I've done now though is I've brought in some other colors, okay, green, yellow, and blue, and they're not interchangeable. So the green will not plug in with the gray or the black and vice versa. So the reason I brought these in is you may have a situation where you want to use it for the charge lead from your vehicle or you might want to use it for your solar connection so they don't get mixed up. So I brought in these other colours and they can just be handy for you if you want to make sure people aren't plugging things into the wrong places, okay? These ones only plug into each other. The grey and the black are the same and will plug into your standard Anderson plugs. Okay. Anderson plugs have these little terminals and um, you'll see that they've got a little lip underneath here it might be hard to see on the camera but that's where that that little bit keeps it inside of the anderson plug itself so what we want to do is crimp the cable into the anderson plug so i'm going to show you how to do that now i'm showing you with our fuse now we've got um these fuses they're very good um weatherproof fuses on our website they come with a um, 80 amp fuse, but there's also a variety of different options with them. Okay, um, so I'm gonna show you how to connect it onto one of these, but of course you can plug them onto, uh, connect them on the terminals onto any kind of cable that's gonna fit inside. Okay, so now this is a little stripping gun as well. These are really, really popular. You'll find these on the website. Um, these are great for stripping cable and you just basically put them in and chop takes the cable off, you can cut with them, but they're not strong enough to crimp Anderson plugs. And that's an important thing to say. You need to have a decent pair of crimpers, uh, preferably a specialized crimper for Anderson plugs to get a good connection, okay? Because they are a good quality terminal. These ones are available on the website. Now, look, you're gonna pay a little bit of money for them, but remember, if you've got an auto electrician, he's gonna charge you, you know, 30 to 50 bucks just to look at you. If you buy a set of these good crimpers, you'll have them forever. And if you're in 12 volt caravan camping, you'll be using Anderson plugs for a long time. So these are on the website too. These are what I recommend for crimping Anderson plugs and your heavy duty terminals. And these little guys for your little yellow terminals, your small uh, electrical terminals and doing your cutting and uh, they're fantastic for stripping cables. Okay, so that's what I'm using. And, uh, and also here, I've got a, a flat blade screwdriver and that's really handy for a couple of reasons, which you'll see. Okay, so we've stripped the end of this cable. Now we're going to put it inside the Anderson plug uh, terminal. Now you'll see with this heavy duty set of crimpers how easy it is. Boom. Okay, so that terminal is now crimped on. It's always worth checking, give it a good pull, make sure it's on there as well as possible. Sometimes you can put a couple of crimps in there, really lock it into place. One thing that uh, you can make a mistake is some people will flatten the terminal by using pliers. If you flatten the terminal, it won't fit inside the plastic housing properly. So as I said, a, a good set of crimpers really does make the job a lot easier. So I've just done the positive here and I'll show you on a gray Anderson plug. Can you see on the front here, we've got a plus for positive and we've got a uh, minus for negative, well, we're going to go into the plus. 
And also, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I'll try. There's a little spring, little metal spring here. That's what the terminal clips over to keep it in place. So you'll see here that there's a, a lump on the top of the Anderson plug, okay? And if we're looking at it this way, the big lump faces up, okay? And you'll see that little, little tiny lip on the underside is what um, clips, keeps the, the terminal into place. So what we're going to do is put this terminal, when we put it in, we don't push it straight. We kind of put it on a slight angle facing down and click it in. Now, normally it'll just click in by hand, but I am going to show you something that if it doesn't clip in easily, sometimes like I'm using a heavy cable here, so it's easy to push it in. I've got enough, the cable's strong enough to push it in on its own. And so I could easily do that. But if you're using a lighter cable, you can also take a screwdriver, a flat blade, and just click it into place. And then you'll see the Anderson uh, terminals in place. And it's also worth as I said, always giving it a good uh, pull on the cable to make sure it's nice and firm and make sure that it's clicked all the way in. So you do the same um, for the negative wire and you're away. So positive goes into the plus, negative goes into the minus, um, and the Anderson plugs, as long as the, pl the, reds, in pos uh, uh, the reds in the plus and the blacks in the negative, um, you plug two Andersons together, they'll be the right way around. Now what happens if you want to take an Anderson plug off. This is a really common question. It is slightly tricky, so I'm not going to try and make it look super easy. Um, so it might take me a second, but I'll, I'll show you how, how to do that. Remember earlier I showed you that you got the little lip on the terminal and then you've got the little spring washer. Well, take a flat blade screwdriver, push the terminal forward as far as you can to try to release it. Then just push that spring down, okay? As I said, it can be a bit tricky to do it, but boom, there we are. And that terminal's come out. It's as easy as that. But if you're not, if you haven't done it a few times, you might muck around a little bit. But just remember to push it forward a bit first, so it kind of, it releases it off the spring a bit, and then push it down. When you finish, make sure that that uh, metal uh, spring there's in place. Otherwise, just give it a little, little bit of a push up just to make sure it's firm when you put the terminal back in. Now you might want to do this because you've made a mistake and accidentally put the positive in the negative, or maybe you didn't crimp the terminal enough and the cable's pulled out and you don't want to waste your Anderson shell. So that's how you do it. Um, now the Anderson plugs come with obviously enough um, two terminals in the when you buy them. So you buy an Anderson plug, you get two terminals, but we do sell them as uh, additional accessories if you want to buy these terminals on their own. Um, this tool here, as I said, is an excellent tool. I will show you the stripper quickly because I love these strippers. Every time I use them, people say they're great. So I can cut with them, boom. I've got crimping positions down here, but I can also strip from here. Sometimes I need to put my finger on top and boom, we're away, okay? That's how easy it is to strip with these strippers, okay? And then if you've got it too long, no problems, you can simply cut off. But this, this set that I've got, a, a, probably I, I didn't grab the best set out of the warehouse. These, we use them a lot, as you'd imagine, but that's ready to go into your Anderson terminal. So we've got the fuse. If you want to go from an Anderson to a fuse, you can do that. Something else that's really popular on the website at the moment is we've pre-made a lead with a fuse. This is really handy for connecting to batteries. Um, if you want to have an Anderson plug coming off a battery, there's a whole heap of different reasons you might want to use it. This is a, a separate item, um, just a, a negative and a positive with the ring terminal, all heat shrinked up for you. It comes with two 80 amp fuses. Now this enclosure, what I love about it is you don't need to mount the fuse in place. I won't try and pull that off, but the top comes off and there's a fuse inside and you get a spare 80 amp fuse. So you get two 80 amp fuses and the Anderson plug built in. Now remember, this Anderson plug will work with your gray or it'll work with your black. But it won't work with these guys because these guys only plug into each other, okay? Now, if you wanna learn more about dual battery systems, wiring and all that kind of gear, please scroll down to the bottom of the website because I've done a video that's an hour long and it covers pretty much everything you need to know. It's so hard to find good information at the moment. So this video covers all of that. I'm Clayton um, from Australian Direct. Our phone number's on the top of the page if you need any help. Thanks for watching.